so this technique we're going to be covering is going from what is known as, at least in our system, a center lock into a bent elbow gooseneck or an S lock. All right, first I'll cover the actual technique and then I'll throw in some pressure points, some nerve points to use to enhance the technique a little bit. All right. So the function of this, of this technique is Kevin's thumb is pointed towards the floor. I'm going to insert my thumb into the web of his thumb, overlapping his knuckles, and then my other hand is going to overlap on top of that. And then all I'm going to do is a rotation of his hand. Think, it, think of it like a circular saw blade, rotating this way, and I'm going to rotate it right towards the center of his body, and I get a reaction. If you see the person's knees buckle, that's your reaction you're looking for. You don't have to go snapping their joint and really putting them down on the floor. Okay? So from there, once I get that reaction in his legs, I'm going to slide down his arm and hook right here where his elbow bends, and I'm going to pull my hand in towards my body. So I'm doing this motion right here. We're closest, we're strongest when we're closest to our bodies. So here, down, I slide down, hook this, and pull it in. Okay. Now, once I have the function of the movement, I can start adding. On the index finger knuckle, right behind uh, this metacarpal right here, where that ends, is large intestine three. And then on the pinky side is small intestine three. Large intestine is metal, small intestine is fire. So again, I overlap my thumb there and my middle finger there, and I use my other hand to squeeze. And I get a bend from his knees without even rotating the joint yet, and I get a deeper reaction from it. So from there, I slide down and I hook where his elbow bends in the cubital crease there, and I squeeze my fingers digging into lung five. And that'll give me a much, much tighter, more painful technique, which is gonna allow me to do my finish. And so, large intestine three, small intestine five, and you have lung five, it's right here. You actually have three points. There's two extraordinary points, so you have large, uh, lung five, and then the two extraordinary points on either side. So if you do this and grab right in, you see his knee bend, you know you've got the reaction. So that's the technique of the week, center lock to an S lock.